can you share a little bit about what you did and how you overcame some of those obstacles and pushed yourself to be better? Well, I think I had mentors, you know, my high school coach, Bill Smith, he brought me in beginning of my sophomore year and, and really got lit into me about how I need to really start thinking about school and studies more and not just basketball. And I think a lot of young kids that are in sports, that's all they know and that's all they want to be about. And you need to buckle down and really concentrate on what your teachers are trying to, to teach and the message that they're trying to, to, to give because it, it pays big time dividends as you develop and you move on in your life. What would you say um, is the key in terms of how important it is to respect your coaches um, and your teachers and so forth? And what do you tell your current players and student athletes about respect? My parents, who I lost at a young age in my life, the one thing that they instilled in me and my sisters and brothers was respect. I think teachers are the most important people on the face of this earth because we turn our kids over to teachers to, to develop them and teach them and teach them values and things of that nature. And they don't get enough reward for that. You know, I mean, that's that to me, that's major. Uh, I always respected my teachers and coaches and I would be cheating a, a, a basketball student student athlete here at Indiana, if I didn't, if I didn't teach them the necessary things on and off the court, uh, it, it would, it would be a shame. It would, it, I wouldn't be doing my job and I love what I do. How important would you say sportsmanship is, um, especially on the court during the game, um, for student athletes? You know, you can play the game and have fun and, and do all the right things and then walk off that court and shake a guy's hand and say, hey, great game and win or lose. I'm a big stickler in how you present yourself because somebody's always watching, man. And that's what young people don't understand. And parents, they have to play a major role, man, in the development of these young, you know, students. What do you think you might have done if it wasn't basketball? I probably would I probably would have been a, tried to teach. I'm serious about that. I mean, I think teaching is the most important job on the face of this earth. It really is. Teachers, they just don't get enough love and credit for what they do. Um, what is one of your favorite memories from elementary school or, or your youth? I'll share this story with you. When I was in the sixth grade, my sixth grade teacher, his name was Bill. He was my math teacher name was Bill Hamilton. We became really close. And after that sixth grade run, I left 41 and I transferred to a different school. And that teacher, my junior year in high school, Bill Hamilton came back into my life. He tracked me down. He followed me all those years. Asked me, did I want to attend Bob Knight's basketball camp here at Indiana University? And I told him, I said, man, I don't have the money to be able to do that. And he paid for me to come down here and go to camp. And that's how I was discovered by Bob Knight and was able to get a scholarship and attend Indiana University. And he's still in my life today. And that was my sixth grade math teacher, which is incredible. Any kind of closing words or thoughts for um, student athletes and, and students in general at 56? Students, all I can tell you is this. And I truly mean this when I say this. Listen to your mom and dad. And listen to your teachers. Because they mean well. Even when they're tough on you, they mean well, and they want you to learn. Learn is power, is valuable. Learn. Be respectful and learn.